Okay, I want you guys to start with the subjective at the top of your page. I can solve one step equations with integers. Okay, so we're going to be combining a lot of skills you guys have been doing. I want you to think, look back in your spiral. Yesterday we learned some rules about multiplying and dividing integers, right? We've also spent some time with adding and subtracting integers. So we're going to need to remember these things. Plus, I want you to look at the poster up above the board. When solving equations, when I see addition, I do what? And when I do subtraction, I do? So all three of those things are going to come into play today. And again, if I see multiplication, I do? Okay. So let's try a few examples together. I want you guys to write down negative 3 plus y equals negative 5. We want to get the variable by itself, right? And right now, there's a negative 3 with the variable. When I see a negative, I have to do the opposite, which is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, positive. So if I'm going to do a positive 3 here, because negative 3 and positive 3 are going to cancel each other out and become a 0, right? But remember, the idea of an equation is we have a scale. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. Yep. So on this left side, negative 3 plus 3 is 0, but I still have my y equals... I have negative 5 and positive 3. Take a look up at the number line. Starting at negative 5, I'm going up 3. Where are we going to land? Negative 2. Yep. Y equals negative 2. Bless you. I have Kleenex up here. Let's go and check. Negative 3 plus negative 2 does that equal negative 5? If I have negative 3 and a negative 2, it does equal negative 5. So this checks. Let's try another example. X plus 3 equals negative 10. Which number should I focus on, the positive 3 or the negative 10? Right, positive 3 because it's the number that's on the side of the equation with the variable. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. Why am I subtracting 3? Because originally it was a positive. When I see addition, I do subtraction. That leaves us with x 
is equal to I have a negative 10 and a negative 3. Negative 13. Remember when it has the same sign, we put them together and keep the sign. Right? Up here we have the example with different signs. The number furthest from 0 keeps the sign. Okay? Let's go back and check that. Negative 13 plus 3. The question is, does it equal negative 10? It does equal negative 10 because negative 13 is furthest from 0. And that checks. Again, negative 13 is furthest from 0. We have a negative and a positive, so we find the difference. Remember this, guys? Good reviewing. Let's mix it up, and now let's do some multiplication division problems. x divided by negative 3 equals 9. As soon as we see that we have a multiplication or division problem, I should see this triangle showing up in your pages. If I see division, go ahead and look up above. If I see division, what should I be doing to solve? Multiplication. Multiplication, good. Nine times negative 3. So let's look at our triangle. The 9 is positive. The 3 is negative. negative. So our answer is going to be negative. Mm -hmm. So if I multiply both sides by negative 3, my x is going to become negative. What's 9 times 3? 27. We can go back to our original equation and check that. Negative 27 divided by negative 3 does it equal 9. This is why our triangle can be really helpful because we can do this again. I have negative 27 divided by negative 3. Is it going to give me a positive number then? And is 27 divided by 3, 9? Then this checks. Last example. I want you guys to write down negative 120 is equal to 6x. This one's interesting because the answer is on the left side. We have to focus on the right side. And what kind of problem is 6x? Multiplication. So when I see multiplication, I need to do good. Divide by 6. Go back into our triangle. Negative 120 divided by a positive 6 is going to give us what kind of answer? Mm -hmm, negative. And 120 divided by 6 is going to be negative 20. We want to go back and check that. Is negative 120 equal to 6 times negative 20? We have positive 6 times negative 20. We get a negative 120, so this one does also check. 